This video I want to talk about John Lang. He's a TI who was murdered by the police maybe about five or six years ago. So like uh, I don't need to give you know to tell you his entire story because um, it'll be easier for me to simply link, uh, give you a link, and in the link you will just other people have covered his story in detail. His story was actually covered by Mr. Ballin. Um, of course, they didn't use the title uh, targeted individual. They don't like using those titles. So Mr. Ballin, he's pretty popular. He's a pretty big uh, internet uh, internet storyteller. So you may know who he is, but he covered his story. So his story is actually, he is probably one of the most well-documented TIs ever. Um, I think what made his story unique is that he was killed by the police in, uh, I think it was Fresno, California. So the cops murdered him and burned his house down. So, I mean, that's pretty extreme even for TIs. <laughs> but like, uh, you notice in my last video, I, I, I mentioned the fact that like the gang stalkers kill people <clears throat> and get away with it. Uh, they've actually done a lot of stuff to me and gotten away with it. So I just want to put that out there. Like with me, they've done some pretty serious crimes, including like, I don't even want to get into it. They've done some serious crimes and they do get away with it. So like, um, so with uh, John Lang, uh, so yeah, I don't want to go into detail about his story because uh, I'm just going to tell you certain little elements of his story that I think pertain to, you know, this, this, this recording. So this guy was, uh, this guy, yeah, so this guy was killed by the police, but uh, he had, he was the first TI that I know of who was like me, who was able to get really good videos. And he was also a whistleblower, like the Atlanta shooter. He was a whistleblower. Um, and the targeting started when he became a whistleblower. So I've, I've talked about this before. So like I said, um, like, okay, in the last video, I was talking about the government, but I want to also just go back to what I was saying in, uh, like, you know, I think it was two or three days ago about, um, it could be like, it could be just like people who are, uh, you know, powerful who just target people for whatever reason they want to. So I want to go back to that because in the, in, at the, you know, I do believe that that's how it works. So he was a whistleblower and he was whistleblowing on the police. And then when he did that, when he started doing that, that's when the gang stalking started. So it was basically, uh, the same scenario as, uh, with the Atlanta shooter. Like, uh, he said that the cops were illegally uh, scanning license plates. And what happened was he got caught like that. So um, he didn't take it laying down is basically the takeaway uh, from the story. That's what I took away from it. So like when the cops did that to him, he, he was pissed over it. And he tried to figure out what they did in order to, um, you know, discover that he was, I think it was, it was either insurance or something like that or, Okay, I'm not exactly sure how it works because I'd never really heard of license plate scanning, but they, uh, so they, they scanned, they were illegally scanning people's plates and finding out whether they had like some sort of issue with their vehicle or something. That's, it's something like that. So what happened was he ended up getting pulled over by the police because they scanned his plate illegally. And when, when that happened, he basically started to like whistleblow. He investigated it because, I mean, think about it. Wouldn't you be pissed? Wouldn't you be pissed if they got you on some shit that they shouldn't have got you on? So he started whistleblowing to retaliate against the police for uh, illegally scanning plates. So yeah, so they pulled him over and got him on some shit with his vehicle and he investigated it and found out that what they were doing was illegal. He found out first what they were doing, and then he, you know, because he did some investigating shit. And then he kind of started whistleblowing, like he was writing the newspapers, he wrote articles in the news that got posted to the local newspaper, and he was basically just causing a lot of trouble for the cops. So when that happened, when that happened, um, they started gang stalking him. And they were doing a whole bunch of shit. Like the stuff that they do, they do to me too. And I mean, I have videos of them doing it. So you will see, the, you know, you'll see a parallel there. Um, they'll just, you know, hang around for no fucking reason. Like there'll be a bunch of them hanging around. So they were doing all that shit with me. So I know that he was a T.I. So, so yeah, so he whistleblowed on the cops because they were uh, doing some illegal plate scanning or some shit. And that's, you know, they, they got him on it. 
illegally and he was pissed and he just said okay well i'm gonna figure out how they knew that my my car wasn't with the way it was supposed to be or some shit and he did like some research and he discovered this shit and he started whistleblowing like he was writing newspapers and all sorts of shit like he just made their lives really just fucking unpleasant and they started gang stalking him as soon as that shit happened and like I said, if you watch, I'm gonna put a link to the, his video, to the video that really just, just explains every single element of his case. But in the end, he basically he was a, you know he was coming up with all these videos. So, well, before I get to the end, the, the, here's a couple of really important things that you need to know. First, he has videos of them pulling out some sort of high tech fucking ray gun looking fucking thing. I don't know if that shit is a camera some sort of high-tech equipment and so he had like because they were fucking with him so much he could he didn't feel safe at his home because they were fucking with him so much so he put security cameras all over his fucking house like all over the fucking house so nothing happened at his house that he couldn't record so if they did anything he'd be able to record it um so he had on video them pulling up in a fucking van and sliding the door open and have it was some sort of high-tech fucking equipment or some shit like something like it looked almost like a camera or some sort of scanning or I, really i don't know what the fuck it was i mean no one knows what it was it was so fucking huge though i mean this is at a time when everybody has smartphones so you you know uh, he's not they're not rec they're not doing like they're not recording anything cameras are incredibly small i mean think about your the size of your fucking phone your phone kit i've known i think they have phones that can record in eight the 8k resolution i mean that's within your fucking phone the size of whatever the fuck that was would make me think that it's some high-tech military shit and what i'm thinking is the mind reading shit that uh that steven Maddow was talking about like they fucking whipped that bitch out i mean they literally opened the fucking doors of their van and just hit them with some mind mind control shit that's what the fuck <laughs> i mean that's what it had to be some shit like that so they whipped this fucking they stopped the van right in front of his house and started hitting them with some mind mind reading mind control tech shit or whatever the fuck it was uh, I mean, really, okay? And they did that, and he fucking recorded it. So, like, when I say that my channel is not going to accomplish anything, I'm thinking that, how the fuck can it accomplish anything when this guy literally has the fucking, uh, a group of people pulling up to his house and with pulling out some state-of-the-art fucking mind control shit, mind reading, mind control shit, and just fucking zapping him with that shit. He literally recorded that, okay? And and he was killed by the police. And no one gave a fuck. I mean <laughs> like I mean his videos obviously are better than even my videos. Like I don't have these people whipping out like a fucking some mili top secret military mind control shit. I don't have that on video. As much you know I have like this guy, look at this idiot. You know, he's he's a fucking idiot. That's the best shit I got. I mean, I just have a lot of videos, like, of them just being idiots. But this guy has a video of fucking them whipping out some high-tech, top-secret, mind-reading, mind mind-control shit and fucking blasting him with it. So that's better than anything I have. Um, so, yeah, so he basically, so in the end, he basically told people, I think it was on Facebook, that the cops were going to kill him, and they killed him. And, you know, yeah. But before he said that, he asked if anybody who had a concealed weapons permit could come stay at his fucking, um, at his house over the weekend. Like, he was so fucking scared that he just, he, he asked anyone if they had an open carrier uh license or concealed weapon permit or something i don't know if it's open carry a concealed weapon or some shit like that if they could stay you know because they have a gun could stay with them or some shit and the guy was fucking killed i mean the guy was killed and his house was burned to the fucking ground so you know you see it's so 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 the the, the, the fucking so the, the police basically investigated themselves and said that it was a suicide and the way he was killed though it they were like how do you stab yourself in the back the way he did with a, i think it was like a butter knife or some shit like the way he died was so fucking suspicious and it was so it would have been so complicated to kill yourself in the way that he was killed like he was stabbed in the back and it was a blunt 
a knife. It wasn't a sharp knife. And I, they, it was like, and then they lie. Like literally when they first released a statement talking about what happened with them, they, they were lying. And then they went back like two weeks later and retracted everything they said and literally changed their fucking story. So they changed their story two weeks later changed everything so think about how suspicious this shit is like so the point like he had his neighbors they said his, his he has his neighbors recorded doing shit that the people at his job like the people who he lived around like everybody was basically involved and so the point is that this guy this guy was murdered by police and nothing happened so nothing happened after he was murdered. So, I mean, he was a regular guy. I mean, he's a regular guy. And even if he wasn't a regular guy, I mean, what, what logical reason would they have to go through all that trouble to screw with him? I mean, so like I said, if it just, the whole thing is so fucking suspect. And uh, yeah, so this guy, he was the first T.I. who had really good proof of gang stalking. Like, he was before me. He was like my predecessor. He had really good proof of gang stalking. Like, he had really good videos. Like, after you watch his videos, you know something's going on. So, um, th that's, you know, so he had, t so he was the, the initial T.I. to provide actual video evidence of gang stalking. And he has shit that even I don't have. Like, he had the, some sort of high-tech military looking equipment so like uh that's why i was saying with um steven i'm thinking when it's when you say mind control mind reading that 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 camera looking device might be how they're doing it like they would you know they can sort of have it like in their vehicle and just you know use that shit against you i don't know what the fuck that shit is it might use some sort of radio waves or some shit that's my theory but the point is that they were fucking using that shit to control this guy's mind or some shit so so like i said um he is the uh the person who got a lot of really good videos first and uh after he did everything he did nothing happened so if he couldn't if he couldn't prove gang stalking was real with his videos then i don't think videos can really do anything so like i mean so many people they try to make excuses because i think the gang stalkers get on these sites and they try to make excuses for the, like the evidence like they were saying they were saying all sorts of stupid shit that didn't make any sense in order to explain like what he was recording but most of the people accepted that something screwy was going on but the point is that even after it happened nothing happened so like when people talk about like the atlanta shooter uh the atlanta shooter and uh steven motto they don't talk about the gang stalkers murdering uh, john lay the gang stalkers will demonize or get everybody to demonize uh those two people when John Lang was murdered and no one did shit and no one, you know, said, oh, well, well, people actually were saying that people were saying that. But you notice that nothing happened, like nothing happened. I mean, the point is that, you know, you see what I mean? Like this, this shit. And when we talk about T.I.s, they make it seem like that never happened. Like with these T.I.s who snap and, you know, do what they do. They make it seem like that never happened because it's all about this judgment and shit. What about all those cops who committed, who, who are, are guilty of first degree murder? So the cops are, are, are the guilty of first degree murder and nothing happened i mean they're just going about their lives they are murder they are murderers they are guilty of first degree fucking murder and they're cops they're cops who are guilty of first degree fucking murder and arson those are those those are like the most serious charges you could possibly fucking have and they, they're they're still out in this world working as police officers and they're guilty of first degree fucking murder and arson and they're walking around like regular fucking people and it's like it never fucking happened so yeah, i'm gonna link i'm gonna give you guys a link to like the his his full story so you can check his video out in case you're curious but i cover all relevant ti matters and he is one of the bigger ti cases so obviously i want to cover him but i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a link and you can check his channel out and just see what happened with him and with that said let me go ahead and close